Welcome to this quick video where we're going to be exploring class functions and um, procedures looking at class methods. Now the demo code that we show within this video is all available online from Code Central at the following links here. Okay, before we get going, I um, just want to refer you to an article up on DocWiki at Embarcadero.com, which is some great online resources for Rad Studio. Uh, up there you'll be able to see a whole article about using class methods and, um, and referencing those within Delphi. And basically what they allow you to do is to create functionality and group that functionality together so you don't need to actually have an instance of the class created to use the functionality but it may be useful to have an instance of the class at points and um, I've often used this within the development of applications to help do the same thing very quickly and easily um, and, and get a, res a proper response back rather than having to just get a go create something, call a method and then free it up afterwards uh, it really can reduce down the number of lines of code you need to write so here we're going to look at the form multi-object selector. Now this form has a list box on it which allows us using the styles to use the checkbox on the list box item to select or deselect multiple items and then we've got either a cancel or an update which follows the, the modal response OK. Now to, because this form is always going to be used in the same way we actually have our specific object lists passed in as part of the declaration of the class method. So we have a class function which means we don't need an instance of this object to be able to call this method. And then the function is called select objects. We pass in the source list and the selected list and then we have a boolean response basically if something's been updated or not. Now within the class method Anything that we require for running that method needs to be either passed in or created. So part of what we need is an instance of the form. So the first thing we're going to do is create that instance of the form. We're then going to clear the list box. We're then going to tell the list box that we want to show the checkboxes. We're then going to set up the items into that list box. And then we're going to show the form modally. And if it's returned back OK, as in something's been updated, we then clear the selected list and loop through and add into the selected list anything that's been selected. And we then set the result to be true. Otherwise, nothing's been changed, so nothing should be changed, and you'll get a false back. Now, what that means, instead of having to write this code in multiple places within the application, specifically for using this form, with this form is all the functionality that we need to use the form. And that means in code, we can then have very clearly one line of code that we call to pass in the object list, the selected list, and to get the return back if it's been used or not. So that's a class method in use. Hope you found that useful. See you back soon.